Swing. All right, hey, what's up, PT Daily. So it's uh, Masters Week, which is golf week in my world, and um, I haven't done a workout video yet because I have this idea to actually interview some of the professional players who are actually doing it out there, um, grinding it out, but also coming to the gym and working hard. So I enlisted one of my buddies here from the gym, professional golfer, Riley Art, uh, 28 years old, from Fort Collins, Correct. Colorado State. Correct. Correct, been pro since 2010? 2010. Right, right. Okay, so instead of hearing my spiel about squat, deadlifting, and lunging, um, kind of tell me about your routine. Like, why is it important for you to stay fit as a professional golfer? And, you, know. Um, you know, we get that question a lot is, you know, you're, you're a golfer. You know, what do you need to do to fit for? Right. And I always tell people, well, especially in college, as college players, since that's when we really started working out for golf. Yeah. It was 36 holes sometimes 9,500 degree heat. And when you come down to it, most of the time, or all of the time, your last shot is a lot more important than your first shot. Right. And so, to be able to maintain your athleticism all the way through, and then wake up the next morning, do it again, do it again, right. four rounds, six rounds, however many it may be, to be able to maintain a steady athletic posture, an athletic turn, everything that you need to have in your golf swing, that's where I feel like the gym comes in. Right, because it's, it's, it's almost an endurance. It's like a marathon for you guys. Absolutely. You know, and, Absolutely. and I think you kind of grew up in like that Tiger era, you know, like I'm a bit older than you, but you're probably a kid and you kind of like changed the game as far oh, as Oh, he did, he, exactly. As far as, as far as weightlifting, endurance, all of the above, Tiger yeah. definitely changed the game. I would completely agree. Right. So, like, one thing I like about this guy's routine is I see him in here, and he's doing deadlifts, he's doing jump rope, uh, he's doing box jumps, he's doing flexibility, so he's kind of doing it all. So, um, tell me a little bit about your routine, and kind of like, what's like the basis of your routine? Um, strength, endurance. I like, to, I like to combine both the strength and endurance. Okay. So, um, when I originally started, I'd write up a workout plan. So, say I'm doing, say I'm doing chest and arms one day, I would do something that really maintains strength. So just, for instance, I do bench press. Right. So you can put some weight on. Um, it's very static, very one-dimensional. And then I do something like uh, either push-up jacks or something that's more on the cardio side of the chest yeah. to help burn it out, and I do them in a pair. So I can do bench and then go straight into um, either a push-up jack or just straight push-ups or whatever it is right. to maintain a cardio flow throughout the workout. Right, so you're going from strength and to like power and then quickness. And exactly. Power. So so basically like when you swing, it's like about two seconds long or something, right? Yes. So you're training all just to be boom, quick, right through the yes. so, yeah. Excuse the drop. Um, okay, <laughs> so now nutrition, like what's important, like what's your day-to-day -day nutrition like? But what, like most importantly, what do you do on a day that you play? A day that I play, um, let's see, not much for caffeine. Um, I did start, I did start drinking coffee, so I will have a cup of coffee in the morning. Um, nothing that makes you jittery, right. you know, nothing like that, but it helps in the morning, and it's part of my routine. Okay. So I get out and make a cup of coffee. Um, a lot of the time I like a lot of protein in the morning, so a lot of eggs, um, chicken, mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is, I'll eat chicken in the morning, okay. that bother me. Um, for me, it's a lot of eggs. Okay. I like eggs. And on the course, how are you snacking? On the course, a lot of snacks. Um, I stick to, a, there's a new company out, they're called the uh, Glycos. What it is, and they uh, they supply a lot of my stuff: bars, um, chew tabs, energy drinks, you know that sort of thing. But it keeps me very, very level. I don't get the spikes. Okay. And then just your normal bars, Cliff bars, that sort of thing. Nothing with too much sugar in it. Although Cliff bars do have a lot of sugar in it, half of them. Right. Um, so, but just not a lot of sugar. Limit the booze. Yes. Those are my golfing buddies out there. Yes. <laughs> not much booze on the golf course, especially trying. Okay, cool, man. Um, so, yeah, what is your longest drive ever? Oh. Um, I have hit one or two drives over 400 yards. In play? In play. Um, granted, they may have involved a lot of wind and some downhill, <laughs> yes. but I have I have hit a drive of 400 yards. So, I kind of looked you up before if you haven't noticed yet. So, you're about 5'10, 155. Yes. 160. 160. That's insane. Um, 
So lowest score as a pro. Lowest score as a professional. Um, Never even gotten that close. <laughs> okay, uh, if you could give me one golf tip or share with them, what would it be? Just one. One golf tip. Um, all time practicing, spend it on the putting green. Yes, putt. That Don't would be putt. that would be the one thing that I would say is if you want to cut anything down in your golf game, spend time on the putting green. Yes, That's for it. me, I just try to get the ball there. Yep. And then I spend, you know, six shots putting, so I should putt more. Yep, <laughs> like putting's a good thing. Putting's a good tip. 